What's up guys, it's Field Eraser and welcome back to Minecraft. Now today, I'm standing next to this device. It's a lever and it says, do not pull. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's pull the lever. Okay. Seems to be leading up into the, what the hell? Okay. They're coming straight out of the clouds. Oh, this is horrible. It's a massacre. It's raining villages. That's right, guys. You've requested it. You wanted to see how to make my raining villages mechanism from my 50 ways to kill a villager video. So here it is, guys. I'll show you how to make your very own rain making device. Oh, the villager humanity. So guys, first thing you want to do is find yourself a nice patch of land. This is good enough. And you want to grab yourself some building blocks. I like to go with quartz because quartz is white, same as the clouds. And it's actually very easy to work with and it looks pretty. Next thing you want is redstone torches. Redstone. Redstone repeaters. A lever. Dispensers, and last but certainly not least, villager eggs. So first thing you want to do guys is build your switch, which is just a lever, on top of a block. And we have a redstone torch here. Turn off the torch. And you just start building. Build your conduit all the way up to the cloud level. How do you know it's the cloud level? Well, the clouds will be on top of the blocks. Oh, okay, that was a casualty there. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. So here we are, guys. We're up to cloud level. It's pretty tricky to see. And there we have it. We're right inside of the cloud. Now this one's just passing by, but many clouds will follow soon after. As you can see, it's a very cloudy day in Minecraft. So you need not worry. Anyways, guys, what you need to do is build it up all the way until you have an active torch. And then you just go around and start building your platform. Now, your platform can be as big as you want it, it just depends on how far you want your spread of dead villages to be. All right guys, once you have your platform, you need to start building out a nice little redstone wire from your active torch. And you want to lead it into a solid block with a torch on the side, which will turn off. And then you have some more redstone coming to the next block with another torch. So basically, we're just building a simple redstone clock, really. One of the uh, bigger redstone clocks that requires a little bit more effort to make, but the payoff is so worth it. And the last one, you just come around and put it together so that when you knock off this, they all start going haywire. Chuck that back on there. So now, when you hit your switch down at the bottom, it should send the signal up here and turn on the clock. Now what you want to do now is just start breaking around here and wherever there is something or wherever there is a string of redstone wire, you can put a dispenser. So here we go. And try and make it nice and symmetrical and a nice little shape. There we go. As we come down, we want to get the dispensers facing downwards. Build all around. Fill in all the areas that you've made, all the little gaps. Okay, we should be ready to go. Now, all we need to do is fill our dispensers with villager eggs.
Okay guys, so let's give this lever a pull and see what happens. Oh no! It's raining bridges again. There you go guys. That is how you make it rain. Rain villages. If you really want to be adventurous, you could make it rain. Creepers. That's right guys. And collect all the fun. Or, if variety's your game, you could make it rain anything. <laughs> That's right, guys. Anything! Yay! <laughs> oh, the poor kid. Whoa. Oh, the cats seem to be doing fine. I'll just have to drown. Ha 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 ha. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I'm the Field Eraser. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you see anything you like in my world that you want to see more of, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll get around to making a video about it for you. But that's it for today, guys. As always, I'm the Field Eraser, and I'll see you next time.